So, um, uh, 20th century Southeast Asian dictators. Um, I'm not addressing the ones in the audience. I'm, I'm introducing the top. Hands up. Well, some of you guys are like going, God, I feel really alienated. No one told me it was that now. Um, yeah, it's not a shout out. I just, I, I've just been, I've just discovered that my life is sort of incredibly similar to, to people like Park Chung Hee and Mao Zedong and Kim Sung Il. Not in that I have control over the lives of millions of people and exercise that unwisely and cruelly, but because I'm, I'm constantly paranoidly in fear of my own safety. And I have shit. Paranoidly. Paranoidly. Literary texts. <laughs> We're racking them up tonight, aren't we? Nailing the complicated Un adverb that whatever paranoid is. Fuck. <laughs> Still going. Right, um, yeah, so um, basically what I have in common with them is I have shit hot tasting clothes. Um, <laughs> this is called a uh, Cameo Hundessa, style consultant, to the wicked. <laughs> Who put the hit in Hitler? Who put the star in Stalin? Who made Ceausescu's grisly grimace marginally less appalling? Who put the razzmatazz and razzle-dazzle in Kim Jong-il? Who filled Mao Zedong's tailors with revolutionary zeal? Who put Pol Pot's pattern tops in fashion pole position? Who helped Nixon wear a tie like he was on a mission? Who promoted Park Chung-hee's new military sheet? Who made Bijou Himmler dolls the flavour of the week? Who clinched General Pinochet a contract with Lambrini? Who squeezed Mussolini into an itsy-bitsy teeny ween? Yellow polka dot bikini then snapped and slapped across the bonnet of a jet black Lamborghini? Who made Frank Franco's nipple ring a fashion lingua franca. Who did Gary Glitter's hair? No, I mean seriously. Uh, who, who did Gary Glitter's hair? It still looked like a wanker. Who matched Mrs. Thatcher's crutchless pants and people bra? Who waxed Trotsky's ring piece while his boys dispatched the Tsar? Who helped Jeffrey Dahmer tore the door doing incognito? Who made Edward Teller look the bomb when he met Hirohito? Who transformed Colonel Gaddafi from a tank top wearing dickhead? Why it was Cameo Vendessa. Style consultant. To the wicked. You won't see his work on Savile Row, but in a dead man's eyes. You won't see it on the catwalks, but you'll hear it in their lies. Because when evil's done up to the nines, it's really no surprise. From the lowliest transgressor. To the bloodthirsty oppressor. If a cat's a dapper dresser. He knows Cameo Hundessa, and his fees are very reasonable. His price is very fair. Every vanity is feasible if you'll just sign there. And there. Heaven knows the soul's a trifle when compared to and Surge. He'll coordinate your rifle if you really feel the urge. If you uprise him to stifle, then he'll organise a purge. You'll look pretty while each city plays a funeral. Dirt. You can chuck your dated scruples if they're clashing with your tie. Watch the crowds donating pupils as you execute a spy. Like in taffeta and crinoline, you'll shoot them through the thigh. With a pistol. Made of crystal. And a twinkle in your eye. Show your foes some trendy sass. Don't dress to kill. Dress to gas. Raise a glass and <laughs> toast the virtuoso who made landmine medallions oh so now tastic. Who throttled babies with bibelastic. Who bottled rabies and called it fury. <laughs> <laughs> and you for grants from Kamea Vendessa. Now we're all inducing an attack. Gurning, drooling juices and turning pieces the new black. His career's a manifest. Uncle Cameo knows best, so. Evil doers of the future, take heed. No one. For he's a tyrant. In tweed. <laughs>